Hi there, welcome to St. Liam's. What seems to be the problem? Well, uh, I was out of club fever last night and it looks like I might have uh, sprained my ankle on the dance floor. Oh, and when did the sprain occur? I'm not really sure, it was probably around 2 o'clock. Um, I can't really tell though, I was <coughs> overserved. <laughs> Sprained your ankle, overserved. Well, aren't you just a clumsy boy? When I was at St. Mary's, I used to date all the clumsy boys. There was this one time I. Now, no, stop. Listen, if I'm not involved in the story, I don't really care. I got a bum ankle. Can I just please see a doctor? Well, that wasn't very nice, mister. Which means your wait has been extended one hour. Go have a seat in our germ dungeon. I mean, waiting room. <laughs> awesome. Oh, and uh, the right side is for the deathly ill, and the left side is for the kind of sick. Or maybe it's the other way around. I'm not sure. <laughs> This is great, isn't it? Six and a half hours later. Okay, Felipe Ramirez. Uh, Remolina, Doc. Felipe That's what I said. Right, right this way. All right, hombre. Let's take a look at your chart. It says here you're 20 years old. You were in club fever. Does that mean you have a fake ID, muchacho? <laughs> Uh, yeah, Doc, I do. Nice. Very cool. Very chill. And it says here um, that you injured your ankle at around 12, 12, uh, 2, Doc. That says, uh, of course, two. 2 in the morning. Dose in your native tongue. <laughs> not much of a numbers guy, mi amigo. Yeah, Doc. Apparently not. Now, Felipe. My little Cubano. <laughs> How many underage beers have you had? I'm not really sure, Doc. Just a, just a few. Okay, un poco. And on average, how many marijuanas do you do? Not really sure how to answer that, Doc. Come on, Felipe. I'm not one of those old fogey doctors that went to medical school. I get the hit. I get the chill. Now, how many cocaine or cocainas did you pop a club feed last night? Look, Doc, enough of these pointless questions, all right? I got a bum ankle. That's it. Whoa. You got a Latin temper. I like it. <laughs> Come here. Get out of the way of this dead kid over here. You still breathing? Okay, whatever. A bunch of cigarettes here, Doc. Huh? Okay. okay. So, I would like for you to stand up, place all of your weight on your injured ankle, and then uh, slowly remove your pants. <laughs> Doc, I'm not. I'm not going to do that. Hey, now you listen up. I didn't go to medical school to be questioned by some nino like you. You just told me you didn't go to medical school. Exactly. I took a hippopotamus oath to help punks like you. Now take off your pants, slowly. Come on. Looks like somebody's been skipping leg day. Okay. Well, it seems like your ankle is completely fine. Uh, just take a couple of Adderall and some NyQuil and it should kind of figure itself out. Doc, are you sure? I mean, I'm in a lot of pain. You didn't even... Right, okay, I'll check again. All right. <laughs> now, can you cough for me? <clears throat> okay, can you cough again, but this time roll your R's afterwards? WebMD says here you picked up a case of strep and a mild case of Ebola. Nice. What? How's, how's that even possible, Doc? You actually transmitted both illnesses while you were in the waiting room, which honestly isn't that surprising. That place is like a Six Flags water park just filled with nasty, toxic shit. It's fun, but risky. This is, this is horrible. What am I, what am I gonna do? Uh, well, I guess you can just take a couple aspirin and uh, the holy bowl of things should work itself out in a couple of years. But um, here's a lollipop for your troubles. Here you go. 
And remember, like we always say here at St. Liam's, you'll probably feel worse after you leave.